Get so mad, there's no control in me. My thoughts get so bad. I'm like, I might grab a bag. Hey, what is up, everyone? We are at Dan's bike shop, and today we're gonna take a closer look at the all new Trek Speed concept. So, here it is. Look at that. So, um, biggest change is now they come in disc brakes, these are through axles, and uh, the one thing I'm very excited about is the uh, Trek ISO speed, so they've put in the ISO speed from the uh, Trek Madone and the Trek Domani, and they put it in the speed concept. So you add a little bit of comfort to your uh, to your time trial bike. As they always say, comfortable is fast. So um, this will definitely help in very long time trials, like in Ironman and 70.3s. Um, Another key addition is these, uh, the bento box is now in the frame. So uh, if you remember the old speed concept, uh, there used to be a Bontrager bento box right out, right about here. But now it's uh, in the frame, so it's out of the wind, it's more aerodynamic. Um, another change is that uh, from the drop seat stage, they dropped it even more. Uh, this makes it a more aerodynamic profile. They now include an aerodynamic water bottle which uh, sits plush into the frame, uh, not breaking the wind. It's, it, it actually makes the frame more aerodynamic. Um, another change is the cockpit. So it's an all new cockpit. You can, you can make this cockpit as narrow as you want or as wide as you want. We have new bars that are adjustable forward and backwards. Uh, you can also uh, customize the angles of the uh, arm cups, so uh, it's it's a lot more adjustable for more riders. Another change is that we now have a one-piece aero bar, so the stem and the uh, base bars are the same. This one, a stock, came in with a little bit of a rise. You can order yours with a flat bar, so that makes the whole setup a lot lighter because uh, these are all made of carbon fiber now. It's compared to the last model, which has a lot of aluminum parts and a lot of bolts that are integrated there. Now it's one piece, so there's a lot less weight in this uh, cockpit, and it's a it's a more adjustable setup. All right, so if you see this void right here. Uh, this is actually reserved for an aerodynamic water bottle that sits between your arms. It's actually proven in the wind tunnel and in the real world that uh, if you put a water bottle in between your arms, it's a much more aerodynamic setup because it fills the space in between your arms. The wind moves around a lot better in your, in your cockpit area and it doesn't have like a turbulent wind. Uh, it makes for a, a much more faster setup. So um, as I've mentioned earlier, it's not, it now comes in disc brakes. So, uh, previous uh, weaknesses of uh, a time trial bike is that it doesn't stop uh, like a road bike. Now it's in a disc brake setup so it, it, you'll have more confidence in your handling and you'll have more confidence in descending with a time trial bike. So confidence in a bike will also result in speed. The frame comes with this aerodynamic water bottle. Uh, it sits flush in the triangle of the frames. So it hides very well from the wind, um, but it serves as another purpose as well. If you remove this, um, there is actually uh, some sort of a storage in here. This right here, you can store um, CO2 canisters, tire levers, and a uh, spare inner tube. I think you can bring around two. So uh, in this way, it's much, much more aerodynamic than putting it behind the saddle or putting it somewhere in the frame where it sits in the wind, where it creates drag. Now it's totally hidden and it doesn't look ugly as well. So it's a very good, it's a very good solution for storage. And also since your um, spare tubes, your canisters and everything is at the bottom of the frame. It also improves the handling of your bike because it's, it's very low. Uh, it's low to the ground. The center of gravity goes down so you'll be treated with a bike that handles way better than a usual setup. So that's the all new Trek Speed concept. I tell you more when I get my hands on mine. It's still uh, it's still being ordered. If you want to order, come here at Dance Bike Shop or send me a DM. Uh, we'll find a way to get yours as well. This, as a frame, is priced at 315,000 pesos. A whole bike, Trek SLR9, that 
comes with a Dura Ace, um, 12 speed. It also comes with a Bond Tracker Aeolus RSL wheels. Uh, the whole bike is at 750k. You can check out the details uh, in the website as well. So that's it for now. Uh, the all new Trek Speed concept. Peace.